as I as I tried to hint at, it's something we all have already. It's something mm -hmm. that we picked up very early. We picked up logic. Um, we picked up uh, grammar. We picked up rhetoric. No one alive can can function without using this every day. It's just whether or not you are aware of it. And this is maybe the key thing to get out there is that with awareness comes control. And then we're into the whole uh, mind control, branding, manipulation, marketing, uh, all these things, right? Um, Which would be five other talks for another time. Yeah, um, because it goes very deep. And but but it makes sense that if you are aware of your own capacities, your own tools, first of all, it's going to make it easier to expand them and make them even more powerful. But it's also going to give you that protection that so many people are talking about these days about um, what the trivium can give you because it okay. makes you able to uh, deconstruct uh, the extreme rhetoric that is being used to mind controllers or brainwashers um, from... Well, I mean, I think you may be getting a little bit ahead of yourself. Not that I expect <clears throat> very many people who don't know what we're talking about already to have watched this fine to the video. Still, um, you know, it can be a daunting prospect for many to, to be given the tools that allows you to move beyond any authority figure in your life, I mean, that, that you ever had, yes. be that this person fictional, uh, you know, do, if you have him in front of you like your father, um, or, you know, another authority that you put your faith in due to the fact that they had an <clears throat> impressive academic background, was able to write a volume such as this. Without authority, you have to think for yourself, and of course it's very cool and nice to be able to do that. It's just also, I mean, it's not that easy. It takes <laughs> well, some work. It takes some dedication, and it takes the willingness to reprogram yourself. Yes, but uh, this is something that's, again, uh, something that people do naturally, right? We all start out with an authority figure. We all start out in life having two gods, a god king and a god queen. Ideally, of course, there's orphans and stuff, but but ideally, we all start out with parents, and they are gods. They are authorities in everything. They are the people we ask about everything. Why is the sky blue? Why do the birds sing in the morning? All right, I'd like, still like to ask my dad why is the sky no longer. <laughs> As... <laughs> but but the, but the point is, at some point, we slowly grow up, and 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 we get to a point where. We do not need that authority figure to the same degree, and then you, and, you could get and into the whole. The authority figure begins to need us, or at least that becomes apparent to that. Perhaps he or she did all the time. <laughs> well, again, this is maybe um, the most relevant thing. It is that this is not something that is dangerous or difficult. It's just about starting from where people are. Mm -hmm. And then realizing that this is the, this is actually a free education. This is something that everyone can empower themselves with. And the tools to get started is available for everyone. Uh, you cannot find anything that's easier accessible than these two fundamental roads of, uh, uh, so you're saying you don't even have to be able to read a book like that? Look how fucking thick this is. I mean, it's it's a waste of time. You don't have to. But 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 but, but it's the history of Europe, and, and and you know the interesting thing about this. Is yeah, it's 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 some. Why, it's some, why would you read a book it's a like this in this day and age? That's a smart like guy a, that's doing drivel. It's not important. Yeah, yeah, but why would why would you even read a book like this in this day and age? I mean, I did it. it was wonderful. Because we've, I mean, we're at the point where we can't remember that shit. Yeah, but, I mean, but I, then, I, I have to be hypnotized to remember anything. But then, yet. then, then you can uh, you can pat yourself on the back and you can get a merit badge and uh, you can yeah, in yeah. gaming. No, I didn't see anyone for a whole winter. Good for me. <laughs> so it's a nice way of uh, spending time if you've got it. But it's it's really um, it's it's so much simpler than that. You don't mm. have to go straight to the big tools. You can just start out with uh, natural conversation. 
Ooh, but no one does that anymore, Jacob. That's the forbidden stuff. Well, you can't just have normal, natural talk. You must rant. Start with oh, always asking why. What? Always asking why. Right. Use the questions. This is the rhetorical m method. This is uh, how. This is this is Socratic philosophy. This is how you do it. You always ask, "What the fuck? How come?" Why do you say that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the only way to retain full control of your faculties, really.